Hey, what's up YouTube? So as you can see behind me, there's no fish in the background here. Uh, just a quick update on my life. Um, me and my wife decided to purchase a, a different home uh, to be closer with family. Um, and we couldn't turn down the opportunity. So um, we unfortunately I had to get rid of all my fish in, in order to, to make that move. Cause it was, it was gonna be a little bit too hard to move all of that stuff um, to the new place. So this is what my backyard looks like without any fish in it. <laughs> it actually looks kind of large. Uh, but uh, over here is where my chickens used to be and I used to have my, my larger pond tubs over here. And then the guppy farm was in this little corner here. No, no there's nothing. Uh, but this is in the end. Um, I decided to keep a few species um, that, I, that is kind of hard to get in Hawaii. So I'm just keeping it at my dad's place for now. So I'll be back. It'll just take me a couple months to get settled into the new place. And it'll be pretty exciting because I get to rebuild um, my fish roam. I'll probably improve on it. Probably won't keep as, as many stuff as I used to. It kind of got out of hand and it was hard to maintain. Probably it took me about 30 minutes every day just to, to feed everything. So. Uh, I think this time around, I'll probably just keep what I really want and um, if I need to get, um, if I want to get into another species, then I'll probably get rid of, uh, I'll have to decide what to get rid of, um, just so that it just doesn't get out of hand and overbuilding like I did before. Anyway, that was just a quick update on what's going on. Um, stay tuned, I'll be back. Thanks. All right, I'm at my dad's house now. This is where I'm keeping some of my stuff. Um, Here's my little mixed guppy pond that I've decided to keep. And then this is my 300 gallon tub. And I'm keeping some rainbow shiners in here, but uh, they're hiding in a little bit. Then I have my um, super red colony, super red plecos. That is uh, and my luminatis in here. Can't really see them. Uh, this is the little rack that I decided to keep. See, I'm keeping about um, eight, nine, 11 tanks on here. And uh, let's take a look at what I decided to keep. Um, in here should be my beta chinoides. Uh, there's the female back there somewhere. Oh, looks like she's kind of in breeding dress there with those stripes. Oh, looks like the male's behind there too. Let's see if they come to the front. Looks like he's not holding any eggs right now. They look interested in the camera. <laughs> Here comes the male. I just threw in some Daphnia, so they're probably checking it out. Oh, looks like they're doing the mating dance over there. Or something. <laughs> he just ran away. And then some chili rasboros. I think there's some cherry shrimp in here too. I also got these pygmy rice fish in here. As you can see, they're just about the same size as chili rasboros in. These guys are really small. I just have a pair in here and Unfortunately, I've never had fry. Ah, oh, there's a nice little crystal shrimp too. And then these are the bluefin, um, bluefin killifish. I think these are native to North America. And then in this tank, I have the Daisy's rice fish. I think I just have about four of them in here. Uh, and then down here, I have some black ram fry. Should be in here. Oh, there, I see one in the back. Wait, that's a scud. <laughs> Let's see if I can find one. There we go, there's one of the little guys. Uh, 
and here are the proud parents. Actually, right when I was moving out of my old house, they had another spot, but I had no, I wasn't hatching baby brain shrimp at that time, so fortunately, they had no food to eat. Gorgeous. And in this tank, I have my Pseudobugo Cyano Dorsalis. This is a brackish water tank. Oh, this guy's looking kind of old. Yeah, I have a mangrove growing out over here. And let's take a look at the bottom row. Over here, I have the long fin golden white clouds that I got from White Cloud Dynasty. And next door, I have the long fin white clouds regular color. Okay, and in here I have these um, yellow belly live birds. Pretty cool. They unfortunately haven't bred yet, but uh, on a good time, I think. And then let's see what do we have in here. They're probably hiding, but I think I have the um, pygmy sunfish in here. But yeah, this is all I decided to keep. They're just gonna be here for a couple months until I can move into my new home. And then I just saved off one of these Daphne cultures. I just have it in a five gallon bucket. And then I told my dad whenever he changes water, if his goldfish tanks are full of green water, then just to dump some in here. It's doing pretty good. My dad keeps some fish too. This is his koi pond. Some nice ones. These are um, some Japanian ones. I decided to give him, let him keep one of my 300 gallons and just keep it here. It's gonna set up an aquaponic system. It's not quite done yet. He's keeping some goldfish too. These are pretty nice. Yeah. Strange color. And here I'm at my temporary home where these are some of the only pets that I'm keeping here. My poison dart frogs. Look at them. I just put in some um, some fruitless, no fightless fruit flies for them. So they're looking for them. All, I always put it all the way up here. There's tons of them. I've been loving keeping these guys, they're pretty cool. And then, we're also keeping our tortoises in this temporary setup. We have four of them in here. We'd like to take them outside to get some space. Oh, uh, once in a while. Look at this guy, his little red foot. I just woke him up. <laughs> okay, go back. Oh yeah, these are some of the only pets that we're keeping here. Oh, except for my... Doggies too. This is Cookie and Ghost. <laughs> Hello. 